Reconstitution of Cryosuspension Hepatocytes The cell counting for your cryosuspension hepatocytes has been completed and it is time to determine your total cell concentration. The numbers generated from the cell counting will be used to calculate the desired final cell concentration. You'll need pipetters, pipette tips, a 250 milliliter bottle of pre-wormed in vitro grow KHB, a calculator, the conical tube containing the hepatocyte suspension, and multi-well plates. The cell concentration is calculated by taking the total number of viable cells and dividing by the total number of squares counted. This number is multiplied by 10,000. 10,000 represents the hemocytometer chamber conversion factor for the volume in one quadrant, which is 0.1 microliters. This number is then multiplied by the cell dilution factor, 20. The results will provide the total number of viable cells per milliliter. Prior to cell counting, the cell pellet was resuspended in 2 milliliters of in vitro grow KHB. 20 microliters of the cell suspension was used for the tripan blue cell counting. Measure the remaining volume of cell suspension with a serological pipette to get an accurate volume measurement. Assume that the remaining volume of cell suspension is 2 milliliters for subsequent calculations. To determine the total cell yield, the cell concentration of 3 times 10 to the 6 cells per milliliter is multiplied by 2 milliliters for a total cell yield of 6 times 10 to the 6 viable cells. Based on our selected assay and the plate configuration, our target cell concentration is 2 times 10 to the 6 cells per milliliter. The remaining 2 milliliters of original cell suspension must be brought up to the final resuspension volume in order to achieve this target cell concentration. In order to calculate the final volume needed, the total live cell number of 6 times 10 to the 6 cells is divided by our desired target cell concentration of 2 times 10 to the 6 cells per milliliter. The resuspension volume is 3 milliliters. The original suspension volume of 2 milliliters is subtracted from the final resuspension volume of 3 milliliters in order to determine how much in vitro grow KHB must be added to bring the total volume up to 3 milliliters. Add 1 milliliter of in vitro grow KHB to the original suspension volume in the conical tube. The final cell concentration will now be 2 times 10 to the 6 cells per milliliter. The reconstituted cells are now ready to be used in a metabolism suspension assay. Simply aliquot the cells into the plate format of your choice. Remember, if you want to use a different type of plate or are using the cells for uptake transporter studies, your target and reconstituted numbers may be different. If you have any questions about anything shown in this video, please contact Celsius in vitro technologies or visit our website. Full characterization of available lots is online at celsus.com forward slash tables.